And this boardwalk yeah. is so nice. Yeah. It's been 40 years since the Babkinics from outside of Pittsburgh have visited Virginia Beach. We're both double vaccinated. vaccinated. Yeah, so. so we feel a little safe. better about but it. But if we weren't, we probably wouldn't have came. Hotels like the Schooner Inn that cater to families on vacation are doing well. We're actually having the, you know, the best summer that we've, we've ever had, uh, I mean, in terms of sales. Many of the people coming to Virginia Beach are driving from cities all over the East Coast and other parts of the country. Everybody's really friendly. It's super clean down here. And I'm from the north where they charge you like $12 a person to get on the beach. So this is nice. But this place and others are having staffing issues. Experts anticipate a hotel industry job loss of almost 24% in Virginia by the end of 2021 compared to the pre-pandemic 2019. I think it's evident that, I mean, there's jobs available. It's, it's just that we have unfortunately have this environment that, that people are incentivized not to work. And, uh, and, it, and it's hard for employers to compete against that suffering from staffing issues, but hotel revenue in Hampton Roads is up compared to other parts of the state. When you look at June of 2021 compared to June of 2019 pre-pandemic, hotel revenue in the state is down overall 22%, but up 10% in Hampton Roads. In Northern Virginia, where we do mostly, you know, business travel, government travel, uh, meetings and, and whatnot, we're way off of the numbers in, you know, in the Hampton Roads area. Um, you know, some of those jurisdictions are having struggling to hit 40% occupancy. Tourists are coming here. I try zip lining. I don't know if I want to do that, but my daughter and my husband are definitely going to do that. Uh, we're going to try a Waterman's. And businesses are hopeful for the future. They're very optimistic. In Virginia Beach, Margaret Cavanaugh, News 3.